On this day in Cape Town, the water was extremely cold, especially in that zone they were fishing. Due to the riots in False Bay, the only area they could fish for the day and still be safe. Good morning everyone. Today I am privileged to be able to fish with one of Cape Town's best guides. The reason for the shoot today is to give guys from upcountry or visitors to the Cape different options what to do, how to catch fish when you come down on holiday or for business. Now guys, when you go on holiday or go to a new spot for work and you want to go and make a quick throw fishing wise, there's a couple of options what you can do to get the right knowledge to be able to catch a fish. So first things first, when you get down to the coast, you can go to the beaches and start talking to the fishermen. Unfortunately, the options that you've got is you can speak to your local fishermen and they will give you their advice. Second thing that you can do is you can go to a tackle store, speak to them, they will be able to give you great advice. If you go to Yakita, there's always a very knowledgeable anglers working there. Now for me, the ultimate option will be to utilize a guide. The reason I say that is there's a couple of things. First of all, he knows what bait works best, what areas work, with what conditions, with what wind, um, with what sea conditions, the size of the waves, all those things. When a person visits a new area, especially in South Africa at the moment, when it's not safe, the guide knows which areas are safe to fish and which areas are not safe to fish. Just remember to like and subscribe um, to this video. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with a bottom hook that's going to go on the livey. Quite a thick sand hook, I'm not sure what type of hook this is. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a figure 8 knot here. There's a figure 8. Okay, we need to pull that tight first. Okay, so what I do is um, on the bottom hook I'm going to show you now when I rig it up on the live bait put a piece of line through here 
Okay, so once it's through the, you put it through the mullet, the hook, hook will stay proud. You won't lean to the side. I'll show you when I rig it up. Okay, so I'm just I have to hook this now. If you pull it tight, there's that piece of line. You can see now why, why I put it there. And I'm just going to twist it up. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Okay, this is my first hook, my bottom hook. Now I'm just going to go for the, for the, this is the Trident. Is it Cura Tenno? I got from Emil. So we're going to try it on a bronzy, on a big live mullet. So what I do, I'm, I just slide it through. And then it's a, quite a big mullet. So I'm going to put it about, Sure. Let's see, maybe we must get the mullet out and check. Oh, this should do it. And I'm just gonna snell it on this side. There we go. There we go. Okay. So here's a trace that we're gonna use on the live mullet. I'm gonna rig it up now. Just wanna get one of those bite clips. That one should do it, the big one. Okay, so this goes through the, the circle look. There we go. Okay, so now we're actually ready to rig the, the mullet. So now, let's see if I can find this big mullet in here. Oh, yes, it's big. There we go. Solid mullet for a bronze whaler shark. So now I'm going to rig this mullet up. Yes, the massive mullet. So, the circle is going there. Which I, you see why I put the piece of line there? So once the hook is in, it can't go lie like this. Okay. So the mole is there on that side. Take the scale off. In. There we go. So that piece of line prevented from lying to the side. Okay, so you'll, you won't miss the hook up. Perfect. There we go. Rigged up and ready to go. Yo, look at this. Woohoo! It's a great one. Um, great leader. Put him out with the drone now. Take this bullet. Woo! Double trouble. Pacasa. St. Joseph is a sign of very cold water in this area and could make targeting and catching other species rather difficult. But as they say, without having a bait in the water, you will not get a fish. The colder water means that you'll get a lot less bites. But as Vicar showed, you have to pick up the work rate in order to potentially get a bite. But any day fishing is better than a day at the office and that any angler will tell you. 
Yeah, it's an elephant fish. Uh, St. Joseph's shark. It's got a sharp spine here on the top. It got me on my arm now, so hopefully I'll be okay. We'll see. So I've made up a rig to cast a live mullet. So it's just your normal trace from your three-way swivel. Just a little ring in the middle. And I'm gonna put the livey on here. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna put the livey on here with a cable tie. And this little ring is gonna hook onto my sinker. I just wanna explain it to you quickly. Okay, so it's gonna hook on here. Like this. So when you cast your bait, the live is actually going to go up and it's going to go with a sinker. When it hits the water, it will unclip and your live is free. Okay, so I'm just going to rip that up quickly, cable tie. Okay, so here you have it. It's a mullet. So this is going to clip on here. Not this little ring. There we go. So we're going to cast this now. So when it passes, the mullet's actually going to go up. With the sinker, it's going to hit, the ring is going to unclip, and your live is going the back, back line. Vickers is known to many for the guiding he does in the Western Cape and False Bay area and knows what's happening when and where. Fishing with a guide is definitely beneficial in getting to know area, safe spots, what to use and when to fish for what species. This is the quickest way of picking up enough experience to get good results in any area. Now for anyone who follows or sees Vickers' posts on Facebook will know that there are many great catches coming through on a regular basis, on the edible as well as non-edible side. Today was a bit more difficult, but tomorrow everything can change. So he showed Crystal how to rig a live bait early on and now she is going no to pleasure. try it for the first time herself. No pleasure, Crystal. Yeah, you. <laughs> so we're using one of those little round live bait clips. Are you guys ready? <laughs> okay, it's all yours. Cool. So you have to look it through the hip shrink without hooking yourself in the process. Still live bait. <laughs> there you go. Then you have to catch your little mullet. Okay, sure. Yes, it's the first. How do you hook sure? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then you can see what you can see. Then you can see what you can see. Then you can see Oh, come here, lekker pal. Daai ding kie daai deur te gaan, terwijl jy die mallet vasse. The only one. Am jy my bait? Ah, sy. Ah, ja, ja. Wat is dit? Fishy. Kan ons huiver afknip? Sy stijf vinger gesê. Ja, ja. Hier, hier kom nie stijf vinger gesê. Kierig jy vinger en keer vinger knip nie. There we go. Sort it. Oh, sy. Baie nice. Oh, sy. Oh, sy. Now thank you Vickers for taking ASFN out for the day. We'll definitely join you again and maybe conditions will prove to be a bit better. Hi everyone, I'm here with Vickers from Triple M or MMM Fishing, Cape Town Fishing Adventures. He has been so kind to take us out today. He's guiding for us today here in Cape Town. There's a lot of protest in the area so our options was very limited we basically squeezed into a corner here at Makassar beach but yeah like i said to you guys this morning it's always advantage there's a big advantage taking or going out with a guide safety reasons 
knowledge, knowing the area, knowing what bait to use, all of those things. So first of all, Vickers, Triple M, what does it stand for? Yes, okay, thank you Emil. Okay, basically so everyone asks me uh, what does MMM stand for, so it's, it's uh, the names of my wife, uh, Melissa, and my daughters, Minky and Mia. That's where the Triple M comes from, Melissa, Minky and Mia. Oh, okay. Okay, and Vickers, you know guys, I've known Vickers now from about 2007. Vickers is known as one of the best, if not the best, Khalyun fisherman in the Western Cape. Okay. So much so that his nickname on social media is Khalyun. And also, he's written one of the best books focusing completely solely on Khalyun fishing. So guys, if you want to target Khalyun, Go to your fishing, your the local tackle store. They should be selling this book, and it's definitely worth the while to to have a look at and go and buy this book. Well done. In any case, I haven't yeah. told you. Your congratulations yeah. with the Thanks, book Emil. that you've written. Um, yeah, my number is here in the back. Um, is, if there's any tackle shops out there that still needs the book, my number is there at the bottom. Um, I can cure, courier a couple of copies for you to sell. It's not a problem. Um, Another thing about the Khalyun book is not just about Khalyun fishing. There's 19 different step-by-step -step bait presentations in this book. Not just for Khalyun, but any type of reef fishing. So it's not just for Khalyun, any type of reef fishing. Traces, baits, how to take out the bait, everything is in here. Um, so do yourself a favor and get yourself a copy. Um, and then Emil, um, thanks for joining us today. Um, I want to present this book to you, oh, thank you very uh, as much. a gift. Um, oh, thank you, you can have much. it and yeah thanks thanks for, okay. for, for letting me have you guys today oh, what uh, a once pleasure. again sorry uh, there's nothing I could do about this protest but we wanted to fish in the corner we so we couldn't we had to go on this side because it's too close to the protest Kailicha it's so dangerous so whenever you're fishing the Cape uh, Western Cape or don't fish alone never fish alone especially in this area um, if you know where to go you know you should be safe and fishing in numbers obviously Okay, because and if somebody comes down in the holiday period from Johannesburg, Gauteng or from wherever and want to get hold of you, where are they going to get hold of you and what type of services do you offer for your clients? Okay, so basically I'm, I'm on Facebook, um, MMM Cape Town Fishing Adventures, my Facebook page is there with my number, all my details. They can send me a message. Um, I provide half day trips, full day trips, with food, without food, transport. Um, shark fishing, cop fishing, any type of uh, rock and surf fishing. Um, so they can just get all of me and yeah, we can. Uh, and I must add, sorry to interrupt there, but I must add the best bait as well. We got here today and there's live mallet. And like I've always said, the number one thing if you want to catch fish is to have the best bait. The guy with the best bait will always catch the most fish. For sure. Because it was a quiet day, unfortunately, yeah. what could one expect with this type of weather if we want to stay for another a couple of hours? Okay, so look, when we caught that St. Joseph, obviously it tells us the water is cold. So that's not good um, fishing in Falls Bay. You need your warmer water for your cop and your branches. A couple of, we had a couple of bronze uh, bite offs on that side. And two cop came out. Um, so hopefully uh, in the next couple of days things should change. There's still color in the water. So um, I think uh, keep, if the water's cold, keep to your smaller baits. I mean the live bait is still lying, Didn't, there was no touch on it. Uh, see there's some slack line on the, the big rod out there, we're waiting for that to have a large big mullet for bronzy. Um, the only thing is you can wait it out, you know, um, have patience and maybe you get a nice pull with a nice reward at the end of the day. Thank you very much Lucas and once again thank you for having us here with you guys. Um, also all the knowledge that you shared. I've picked up a lot of tips here today. You showed that live bait um, casting rig of these I'll definitely use for cop. It definitely to give you that extra 20 meters that you need. Yes, so thank you very much for all your knowledge that you're sharing with the world. Thanks, Thanks again for having me. Hi everyone. I'm here with our guest angler for the day, Castel Fanica. I'd like to introduce it to you guys. Hi Dan. guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, so Christelle, how was your day's fishing so far? Oh, it's been it's been really nice getting out here. I'm actually from Stellenbosch, so I haven't been to Mokassar myself and it's been lovely seeing it. 
And did you learn anything new today? Um, well, I haven't booked my own live bait yet, and that happened today, and it was quite exciting. Um, yeah, shame. <laughs> so tell us, Christelle, women fishing, obviously there's not a lot of ladies out there fishing, and but I've noticed the last couple of years, the numbers are increasing. Oh, increasing. What made you decide to start fishing? Well, I've always enjoyed it. I've never, just, I've never been enabled to. And um, then during lockdown, I entered this competition with Assassin, and I was lucky enough to get sponsored by them. So they just got me set up and going, and now I have no excuse to do it, and I just absolutely love it. And I think the whole trick, trick behind it is just to keep the girls comfortable, keep them dry, <laughs> keep them warm, give them suitable rods, not X heavy, XX heavy, try medium, something that suits them. And um, that they can carry around and cast them all day long. That would definitely make a difference and get more girls into it. But yeah, no, Christelle, you're going to love this sport. There is, it is definitely one of... And guys, she's definitely got the fever, I've noticed. She, she's shaking with excitement every time she goes and casts, every time she makes it bait. So, so welcome to fishing. Oh, thank you so much. And, <laughs> and thanks for having me. Yeah. And thanks for joining us today. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Now, thank you guys for watching and for everyone that subscribed already. For those who haven't, please subscribe, hit the bell notification button in order to receive a notification every time we upload a video. Also, like these videos as that really helps us. Thank you for watching.